arrived in Kununurra. Oh. Let's go shopping. Megan's favourite thing to do in the world, shopping. That's not in the least bit true. <laughs> you know that. Here we are, peoples. I hope you enjoy this little campsite. It looks pretty bloody impressive. It's full of like the most beautiful trees and and flora and fauna. Hello. Ouch. The lovely lady behind the counter there in Kununurra Retrovision said that she comes camping here regularly with her family. And the last time that they were here, they caught a metre barrow and they, were, they put their throw net in and then caught a little uh, one metre salt crocodile as well. Look at this. This looks like a flashlight. Not a ball. Yeah. Take one. powder. We used to have one. Like, so you put seeds on that Clash them together and they make it into dust. Like the, the donut and go for a float. Oh, you heard it here first. Megan's going for a float the donut. Just woken up at Buttons Crossing. Um, we had a wonderful sleep. We've got a really good setup here on the edge of the Ord River. Us and the Grahams. Today is the day we're going to catch a barra. Um, last night we saw three freshwater crocs just laying on the banks just around us. Um, so we know they're there. Not sure about salties, but we're just going to be super careful. Um, because we have heard that they've been seen here, so the kids all know the drill, they know not to go close to the water, but um, yeah, we're gonna record our experience today, uh, what we know about barra fishing and what we're gonna learn, because we haven't caught a big one yet, we've only caught small ones, so, so that's today's challenge, and have a big dinner, hopefully. Good morning. My dad, right now, is making scones it's not fully done yet it's just dough the secret ingredients is don't tell them don't tell them right oh now everyone knows it has to be real and it can't be zero sugar or because the the sprite adds like the sugar and the sweetness and the nice and the sprite is really nice to drink so we just gotta Fold the dough. It's very precision-y. You just gotta mush it and squish it. Oh, that other side looks disgusting. That's all right, we'll just fold it. Good to go. Slap, slap. Lots of flour. This thing is what we use, self-raising fire. Because you need the, you need the, um, the raising flour so the scones raise up, not don't raise and then just stay flat like muffins. That's what my dad made last time. I and did not! Yeah, you made them look like cookies that, and they taste like dough. That was the first time I ever made them. Yeah. They were, they were scone bickies. Yeah, scone bickies. But the second batch, jam with cream, wow, it was amazing. And there's a trick. Can I ask my lid? They do come out real good if you actually cook them well and cook them for the amount of time you need to. We're doing it in the web, actually. Got any bites yet? No luck on the lure. Might have to stop reading. Oh, come here. Oh. Freshwater crocodile skull. Oh, where's all his teeth? Mm, I don't know. They're all falling out. Yeah. When I think he, he needs. Something. I think he needs to see the dentist. Yeah. What's happening over here? Well, I just had a little hit from a good sized barrel just in the corner here, but he spat this hook straight away. Did a little dot, did a little bit of acrobats and then spat the hook. Let's go have a look at these baits. Oh, it's got a bubblers. Will threw his cast net in and 
We've got a bucket full of live baits. Oh, there you can see one there. As Will calls them, barabickies. Dad, I got all the crocs' teeth out. Oh no! Do they smell? No. That is Ugh, fishy. Yuck. Yeah. Fish okay. What are you doing, Akadaka? Will had a big hook up before, but, well, actually not a hook up, had a massive jump out of the water. So they're definitely here, but it's just, I suppose, a matter of timing now. We've got about five fresh baits in, so fingers crossed. Didn't have any luck, unfortunately. So we've come back to camp and because we're so hot and we can't swim in this beautiful river, we've put the pickup uh, water pump in the river We've powered by the car, the hose running up to the caravans, and now everyone's having a nice cold shower. Winning! We could live here forever if we could just catch a barra. We're heading to Secret Springs. We made the drive into Secret Springs. It's actually a really uh, insane drive with lots of deep river crossings, uh, heaps of rocky outcrops. Um, but we made it, fine. We're just walking down the path to get there now. Apparently it's quite a short walk with an infinity pool. Can't wait for that. G'day guys, we're just down at Lake Argyle Caravan Park. Um, everyone's gone for a swim down at the pontoon, which is in the lake. Well, sorry, it's in the river that feeds the lake. And uh, I'm heading down there now to see if I can find them. I think I can hear them. They're about a 600 meters to a kilometer away and I can hear them pretty clear. So I'll head down there now. I'll show you this path though, have a look at this. <laughs> there they are. All right, let's get out and see uh, what's going on. Yeah, that's right. So we've got the fishing rods, we've got a couple of beers, some food, 
looking for a good day on the lake, so. On the lake! Will and Tanya are already down there. They're just teeing up, uh, getting the keys, and uh, we'll head out. So yeah, we'll focus on this little bit here. This is the bigger version of it. So once again, we're here. Dam walls here, and that's where your hydro is. Intake towers that we've got there. Is it under the boat, buddy? Yep! <laughs> Gotta get him up! That's not You got those muscles, big guy? It is a fish! Oh my god! What'd you catch, man? This guy! My, oh, I think my arms! Oh, jeez! I think my arms broke literally this oh. up. Is it barramundi or a catfish, you reckon? Oh, I don't it's know. Catfish. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he is. Oh. finished our barbecue boat um, cruise and we've come to the other side of the dam wall so if you have a look at this that's what's holding back Lake Argyle just a few little rocks really and the, the powerful jets uh, the water that they release to keep the river flowing uh, that goes downstream it's called the lower Ord, which is where we were camped the other day at Buttons Crossing Lower Ord, Lake Argyle. Greg. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can finally say that. Give me a kiss. Mwah. 10, 15 minutes. 
I've been located about 16 kilometres from where we are now as the crow flies, so it would have been smack bang in the middle of the, uh, of the lake. So they managed to get a government grant to rescue the homestead basically um, and brought it out in the late 60s before the lake filled in 771. So it was pulled apart stone by stone, brought out, had to store for a couple of years until they got a second round of funding to do the reconstruction and opened in 79 as a museum. He was already looking at places they could dam the Ord River in the, back in the 40s. So when his father was talking about selling in 1950, Kimberley tried to stop his father from selling because he also had some ideas how he could use the family properties. But his father was locked into selling and he sold all but one of the properties in 1950 and then died about two months after he sold them. Come out. Hey. Here we go. Walter. Jack. Yeah, they, they want and to sleep. Oh. What's this bulbous bit on his butt? The King, King the King's Canyon. He's walking that way, look at his feet, they're pointing that way, that's his snout and his nose. And that is his back leg, and that is his back leg. He's either got a bad case of hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go the hard way. Yeah, it's so cool. There's miniature caves that they want to in. Wow! We've just come from Lake Argyle uh, for a look at um, Panikin, Panikin Bay Lookout, um, which overlooks the huge expanse of water in Panikin Bay on Lake Argyle, and it's absolutely breathtaking. We've come out here with our good friends Luke, Amy, Sadie, and Oscar. And we've got Will and Tanya, it's our last day in Lake, Lake Argyle, so we've come for a little trip out to see the sights. You! Yeah. <laughs> you! You, you, you! Yeah. Don't fall off the edge. <laughs> what was that, Aki? <laughs> I like it. One, two, three. Put a tire in this joint. <laughs> place is magic. Don't overlook it and don't stay too short a time. From the um the campsites at Lake Argyle. There's a walk that goes straight down to the lake. Um, there's also a walk that goes to the old homestead, which we looked at yesterday. There's a whole heap of um, boating tours you can do from here. Um, uh, party boat, sunset cruises, um, you can just hire a boat for the day. Um, we went on the barbecue boat the other day as you saw, um, that was amazing. Um, sunset cruise we couldn't book into because our group is too big and there wasn't enough seats so if you're hoping to do that, which apparently is amazing, um, definitely book ahead for that. We've stayed a week and we've had plenty to do each day with little travelling trips. It's only about uh, 40 minutes into Kununurra um, if you need supplies. They do have the basics here like bread and eggs and things like that. Um, milk, but yeah, to do a grocery shop we've just been going in there and doing a bit. And in town in Kununurra has free water park in the afternoon. Um, everything you can need. Beautiful ice cream shop. Um, Sadie and Oscar took me to their school for a visit the other day and it was really cool. Um, it's a, just a neat little town with some really beautiful people. Um, so yeah, plenty of stuff to see here and do, whether it's at the start of your Gib trip or at the end. Um, so we'll just show you a few more bits and pieces that we've been doing over the last week here. And then um, we're going to head over the border today, which is really exciting because we've been in WA now for since November. So what's that, eight months or so? Um, 
but yeah, excited for the next bit into NT. Do you want to come and um, come over and say goodbye to everyone? Yeah. Hey, Meg. See you, Tommy. Hey, Meg. Hey, good, yes. Oh, I'll take care. Be good for mummy and daddy. Guys. Lots of fun. See you, babe. Bye, my darling. Oh, oh. Safe travels, Love guys. You. Love you. <laughs> See you, Aki. Bye, Bye guys. Love you. <laughs> All right.